Welcome back. Now, for a look at the world stock markets, uh, here's Africa 54's business correspondent, Jill Malandrino, in New York. Since February 11th, most markets have made a stunning comeback from the January 2016 lows. Sandra Reid of Lions Wealth Management, is this more of a technical move or do you think fundamentals have improved here? Yeah, thanks so much. I, I, I think fundamentally um, the, the markets, we, we have several uh, tactical indicators uh, to, to guide us whether we stay long the market or not. Um, and the longer these these markets, what I consider consolidate sideways versus actually get into bear market territory, uh, the longer I think and that, that goes, the more I think that we're actually probably consolidating and maybe in an, going into an up leg of a continued bull market. So you trust this 50 point rally that we had on Tuesday? Well, I mean, w whenever you get into consolidation and, and almost crashes and, and bear markets, you see pretty dramatic moves either direction. Um, so 500 points here, 50 points there, uh, it becomes normal in, in this type of volatile environment. So you mm -hmm. just have to keep the longer view in, in focus. And uh, like I said, we we had uh, back in August and September and then again in January, some very close uh, moments where we thought we might signal to go defensive in our in our allocations, but we actually stayed long. Um, and I always like to re re remind folks that the market went sideways from 2000 to 2013. So we had no rate of return for 13 years. Mm -hmm. the, the technical breakout was was 2013, 14. And that that would be after a long bear market that we all want to forget. But that that to me says we could be in a longer term bull market. And with every bull market, you have a bit of consolidation mm -hmm. here and there. Finally, what sectors do you like at Lions Wealth? Well, we've been fortunate to miss most of oil. Um, we avoid uh, the banking sector uh, for the most part. Mm -hmm. we, we've been in consumer cyclicals, um, so that's been good for our portfolios, and, and we, we like dividend paying stocks. So that's kept us a little bit out of uh, some of the volatility and, and out of harm's way to a certain extent. Okay, thank you very much, Sander. In New York, I'm Jill Malandrino for VOA News.